Next is going to be our lunge matrix. So this is going to be great for all sorts of things. We want to start moving the hip into multiple planes of motion, and the slider is one of the best ways to do it. Plus, it keeps the muscle active as opposed to just stepping out, where the muscle kind of turns on and off. Now we can load it and lengthen it through the whole range of motion. So we'll start whatever leg we're, um, you know, that doesn't have the slider is going to be our base. Keep that heel firmly planted on the ground. We're always going to be aware of that knee tracking. So we want it to come forward and slightly out, but never inside that foot. So we'll start with a forward reach, a lateral reach, a reverse reach or lunge, and a curtsy lunge. So if we were to go through that series about three to five times on each leg, we're working a lot of quad loading dorsiflexion range of motion here, a lot of adductor activation through here, a lot of just your basic lunge, hamstring, hip flexor lengthening here, and then a nice multi-planar motion. So working that transverse plane, really loading up that glute max and meat as well.